Chef Paul Prudhomme is packing up his spices and spatulas and is heading to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. As WDSU News Channel 6 reporter Cammie Aldrich tells us, the world-renowned chef will cook up some Louisiana flavor for thousands of troops. These boxes are filled with food. They're headed to Guantanamo Bay to feed some 5,000 troops. I got some more in the van. It's probably, I would say, upward of 6,000 pounds. Chef Paul Prudhomme not only provided the food, but he and his team of chefs will travel to Cuba to cook it for the troops. The chef says it's his way of thanking them for the sacrifices they make. That's a huge sacrifice they make, and, uh, you know, we want to appreciate that. Several of his signature dishes are on the menu. We have a wonderful teriyaki sauce uh, that we're going to do. we got, uh, we got a pasta and cream sauce, which is we're... You know, I've been doing since we opened Cape Falls. We've been producing the food here for the last two or three days, uh, getting ready for it. Somewhere in these boxes are the ingredients to make what Louisiana's known the world over for, gumbo. They've got their work cut out for them, but the chef says it's worth it. To see the smiles on their face and know that I'm doing the best I can uh, to feed one small, small segment of the military, I'm a happy guy. Chef Paul leaves for Cuba tomorrow. Cammy Aldridge, WDSU News Channel 6. <laughs> Chef Paul looks terrific. Now, in addition to that meal, Prudhomme will conduct three cooking exhibitions on Saturday featuring New Orleans cuisine. It's all part of the base's Customer Appreciation Day.